The bidders hope this welcome sign is the first sign of welcome back. After all, St. Mike's hasn't been a part of the OHL in well over three decades. In its heyday, St. Mike's was a major junior hockey power with six OHL titles and four Memorial Cups. But in 1961, it pulled out over educational concerns. And now, some 35 years later, the move is on to get back in. Yeah, their presentation was uh, simply superb, and uh, the expansion committee has a very large task before it to, to now take that and go f to our full board and uh, make a recommendation as to their thoughts and merits on, on their application. The application calls for St. Mike's to return in 1997, but in a big league marketplace, what fan base will return? We don't have an answer for that right now. We, um, that's why we want to be cautious. That's why we want to play in our own arena. We're confident we can get a couple of thousand people a game. Uh, we're not confident that there's six, seven, eight thousand. St. Mike's Arena has a marvelous hockey history, a home to over 130 NHLers. Problem is, the OHL likes at least 4,000 seats to work with. At max, St. Mike's holds half that. There's only 2,000 seats here, and, and we're confident that we can pack it every game. But we've got a unique advantage in that we own our own concessions. So 2,000 here, owning our own concessions, is the equivalent of having 3,500 anywhere else. Another issue to be resolved is the expansion fee, said to be about $750,000. There's no question that their package is, is based on uh, some restructuring of the finances, but uh, whether or not uh, uh, the league governors will see that that's something that would uh, be considered remains to be seen. But the board will get a chance to see things firsthand as the bid will be represented next week at their meeting. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.